And we welcome the face of the league. He can't be Sid the Kid at 34, but he is Sidney Crosby. He's the captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Sidney, thanks for joining us. These half times are really short, so let's get right to it. Are you playing tomorrow night against the Lightning? I won't be in, unfortunately, but uh, getting better, getting closer, and hopefully soon. Wrist surgery last month. How soon? When can fans expect to see you back on the ice? Uh, it's hard to say, but, you know, hopefully a week or two. We'll see how things progress here. But uh, started to shoot and stick in a little bit, which has been nice. So uh, it's coming. So hopefully, uh, yeah, I'd say a week or two. All right, I know the goal, especially for you, is always winning the Stanley Cup. How good can the Penguins be this season? Uh, we've got a tough division. Obviously, a lot of teams made some moves, and, uh, you know, I think that every year that's the challenge is finding a way to, to be consistent. And, and uh, you know, we came off a tough playoff loss there last year uh, against a good Islanders team. But, um, yeah, it's, it's tough to say. It'll be, a, it'll be a quite the race in our division. And, um, you know, I think similar to last year, though, uh, you know, if we build off of that, we'll have some success. I'll be joined on the set tomorrow night outside the arena by Mark Messier, Chris Chelios, and, of course, Barry Melrose. I want to read something to you that, that Mark Messier said about your career and get your reaction. Mess said, I love Sid's career. For a superstar to be considered the league's best corner man shows you why he's been successful in the big games. Open ice speed, effortless glide, combination that's hard to contain. I mean, listen, you've won every award. You've won the Mark Messier Leadership Award. How about being called the best corner man in the NHL? What do those comments from Messier mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Obviously, he's somebody uh, throughout his career was a great leader, uh, played a hard game, was tough to play against, and uh, basically won everywhere he went. So um, that means a lot coming from him, and uh, I appreciate those words for sure. I think uh, you and Alex remain the faces of the NHL. Alex Ovechkin of the Capitals. Who's next, Sid? There's a lot of guys there. I mean, you go through, you know, McDavid, McKinnon. Uh, you look at what they've done over the course of their career so far. Um, you know, dry sidles right there. A lot of, a lot of young guys. Matthews. Uh, the list can go on and on. A lot of guys to be excited about and that uh, have accomplished a lot. So uh, it's an exciting time, I think, for the league. And you're seeing a lot of skill and. Uh, a lot of guys that are playing some great hockey. So, Sydney, you and the Penguins have won three Stanley Cups. You won the back-to-back -back Cups in 2016 and 2017. First of all, how come you didn't win three in a row? And so, therefore, what challenge are the Tampa Bay Lightning facing in their quest for a three-peat now? Uh, that's a good question. Um, we ended up losing to, to Washington. And, uh, you know, it's tough. Just you've got a target on your back all year. Um, you're getting everybody's best. Obviously, you deal with you know, fatigue a little bit, uh, playing that much hockey over the course of two seasons and those playoff runs and things like that. Um, but, yeah, I think just the biggest thing is you're getting everybody's best and everybody wants to beat the champs. Last two seasons, right, were shortened season, playing in a bubble, dealing with the pandemic. Uh, how have you handled that? What's that been like for you and the Penguins? Yeah, I think, you know, like everybody, just we've had to adapt to some different things and, um, you know, kind of life's been different for, for everybody, whether you play hockey or uh, I think just the world in general. But, um, you know, I think that this year there's, you know, some normalcy coming back. It'd be great to have, you know, fans in the stands and uh, to have that energy and normalcy will be huge. So, um, you know, it's it feels like it's starting to get back to normal. But, uh, you know, there's no doubt there was a couple of years there where, uh, a couple seasons that were a little different, and I think everyone's excited to, to get back going here. You're 14 goals from 500, kind of a magic mark in the NHL. What will that mean to you when you hit that number? Um, I don't know. I got to get there first, but I think, uh, you know, I think like any milestone, I think, you know, you try not to think about it and, um, you know, tend to reflect when after the fact, I think, with things like that. But I think when you get close, it's something that uh, you want to get. It's, it's a great number, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a sign I've been playing for a long time, too. So I think just, uh, just something you want to get when you get close. Alex Ovechkin's been playing for a long time as well, and I, I got to give credit to my colleague, John Butchagras. I think he was the first to mention it and mention it years ago that Ovechkin would have a chance to catch Wayne Gretzky's all-time goal mark. So what do you think about his opportunity there? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely doable. Um, you know, there's not many guys who have an opportunity um, or that it, we're even in striking distance of something like that. So it tells you, you know, how consistent he's been. Um, 
but he's, uh, he's capable of doing it. I mean, you know, you look at his numbers, you look what he's done over the years, um, the way he's still playing, he's, he's definitely right there. So it'll be fun to watch here to, uh, to see how close he gets and uh, if he does, you know, one day pass, pass Wayne. Team Canada has named just three players to their squad for the upcoming Olympics. I'm sure you were shocked when you got the call. You'll be one of the three, the first three. Uh, but I know that was a big battle between the Players Association and the NHL. First time in eight years the NHL is going or is scheduled to go. Why was that so important to you and the players? Yeah, I think it's just it's exciting. I mean, it's something that um, whether you're a hockey player or you know, any athlete, having the opportunity to play in the Olympics is really unique and special. And, I think once you get there and, uh, you know, you see the product, you know, just, you know, best on best, best players in the world competing against one another, playing for their country, uh, it's, it's pretty special. And I think uh, for guys that have experienced that, they understand it. And for guys who haven't, they want to be a part of that. So um, I think it's great for fans and great for hockey in general. What is your knowledge of the market that is Seattle? Have you spent any time there? Do you ever play any pl in tournament games there at any time? And uh, what do you think of the, the Kraken and what that'll be like playing NHL hockey out there? You know what? I've, I haven't ever been to Seattle. Um, from everyone I've talked to, I've only ever heard great things about it. Um, you see their fans uh, in the Seahawks uh, games, so you see what, a, what kind of place that is. And... Uh, how much they support the team there. And I've heard stories, um, you know, from other teams that have played there. So uh, I'm sure they're going to support it well. Um, knowing some guys that are there now, they love it and uh, can definitely feel the support. So it'll be an exciting place. And you don't always get the luxury of that. You, you play in a lot of the same buildings and, and that type of thing. But having the opportunity to go to a new building, new atmosphere, that'll be exciting for us too. Tom Brady might be playing the best football of his career. He's 44. How much longer are we going to enjoy you in the NHL? I hope for a long time. We'll see. The game's not, uh, not get any slower, so speed's obviously uh, a huge thing. So, um, you know, that's such a huge factor. But uh, I'd love to play forever, and uh, we'll see, see how long I can play here. But uh, I'm hoping at least another four years here. That'd be great. Big win by the Steelers yesterday. They needed that. How closely do you follow your friends in Pittsburgh there in the NFL? Oh, very close. I mean... Uh, they needed that one, uh, obviously a big win for them, and uh, we're always following them close. We went to the home opener. Uh, it's fun to, to see them have success. I've been here for uh, years when they've won, and uh, you know the city's obviously um, behind them all the time, but uh, we needed that one yesterday, and uh, glad to see them get it. I know your coach, Mike Sullivan, he and Mike Tomlin are buds, so do you, have, you bump into guys around town? You ever hang out with Big Ben or Mean Joe Green or Frenchie Fuqua or any of those guys? Yeah, I mean, we've crossed paths at different things. I've seen Ben uh, a bit over the years, obviously always pulling for him. He's been here for pretty much the same amount of time I have. I think he got here a year before I did, so always pulling for him. Uh, fun to see Canadian guy Claypool doing well uh, for them. Uh, Harris looks great, so... Yeah, it's, it's always good to kind of cross paths with those guys, and, uh, and uh, we're always pulling for each other, so happy to see them do well. All right, we'll get you out of here on this. Uh, everybody talks about LeBron James. He'd be a great tight end in the NFL. What position would Sidney Crosby be great at in the NFL? Uh, I, I don't know if I'd be great at it. I'd love to be a running back. I mean, it's not the easiest position in the world, but, um, you know, to have the ball in your hands pretty often. It's a, it's a tough position. Those guys are uh, tough as nails doing what they do on a, on a nightly basis. But, uh, yeah, I would say just uh, I'd love to give running back a try just to see what they're doing. Sydney, thanks for joining us. Uh, get back on the ice really soon, and we'll see you tomorrow night in Tampa. Thanks for joining us here on Monday night. Appreciate it. Thank you. The NHL returns to ESPN for the first time in 17 years. It is tomorrow night in Tampa. The Penguins against the two-time defending Stanley Cup champion Lightning, followed by the first-ever game for the Seattle Kraken franchise there in Las Vegas to take on the Golden Knights. It all starts at 7 p.m. Eastern with the point. That's tomorrow on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. Our thanks to Sidney Crosby and the best of luck to both him and the Penguins for a great upcoming season.